Okay, welcome everyone to this special digital meeting of Cabinet, um, Tuesday the 20th of October um, 2020. Um, do we have any apologies for absence? Yes, Leader, just uh, Dave Street. Okay, thank you, Christina. Thank you for that. We'll have that recorded. Okay, declarations of interest. Councillors and officers are reminded of their personal responsibility to declare any personal and or prejudicial interest in respect of any item of business on the agenda in accordance with the Local Government Act 2000, the Council's Constitution and the Code of Conduct for both councillors and officers. Is there anything to declare? I take silence as no. Okay, moving on. To receive and consider the following reports on which executive decisions are required. So to receive and consider the following report, which in the opinion of the proper officer may be discussed when the meeting is not open to public and to first consider whether the public interest requires that the meeting should be closed to the public for consideration of this item. If I can please hand over to um, the monitoring officer. Yes, thank you, Leader. Uh, Robert Tranter, Monitoring Officer here at um, Caerphilly County Borough Council. Um, Leader, you will find in your agenda pack uh, a public interest test that I have prepared, and it will be necessary for you as a cabinet to weigh up whether or not you um, consider that the press and public ought to be um, exempted from uh, this uh, item. Um, my basis for giving the advice is that the report contains uh, business information about uh, various parties, um, including the council, about um, proposed developments within the Caerphilly Basin. Um, you need to weigh up, I, I would suggest, um, exempting that against the um, um, uh, the that the public or perhaps ought to know, public have the right to know about uh, developments within the Caerphilly Basin. Um, I think in due course, um, the contents of the report will certainly become public, but at this stage, I would advise the Cabinet uh, to exempt um, the press and public. And um, therefore, um, I would um, ask you now uh, to vote on that as a Cabinet, whether or not to exclude um, the press and public. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that, Rob. Um, Councillor Morgan. Um, yeah, if I could um, move the the recommendation that that, that um, of of in, in contained in the public interest test, because um, obviously this this report um, is making no. Um, final decision. This is a, a, a report about working with other parties, and um, uh, therefore, I, 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 as it names um, certain parties involved, uh, you know, I would like to move the exemption. Thank you, Councillor Morgan. I see that you know we we can actually go straight to the vote on that in, in relation to the uh, recommendations from the monitoring officer. Um, it's important to note they're very detailed. His reasoning is detailed in agenda item three. So thank you for moving. Um, shall I just have a seconder for that? Just for a second. Thank you, uh, Councillor Stenner. OK, if we can go to the vote then to agree the exception. Which way are we voting, Leader? Um, I would say that's four, which was agreed no, no. with the recommendation. Yeah, no, no. I, what I mean is, how are we voting? Are we doing it with hands or? No, if you if you can see, um, sorry, it's come up as a it's actually come up as a as a vote in form on in the chat, Councillor right. Morgan. So that's just been put up by Charlotte or Amy. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so you'll see there. So item gender three, public interest test. seems to be a delay there. 
so everyone voted. My, my system's a bit slow. I've got eight votes for on my screen, Leader. OK, thank you. OK, thank you. OK, so that's unanimous then. Therefore, okay. therefore, Leader, you've decided to exclude the press and public and therefore could I now ask Charlotte, please, to um, stop recording um, this uh, this this segment of the meeting, please.